Hello my Shopify users, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can connect your domain that is registered with a third party service like GoDaddy to G Suite and get your email working. So the first step is of course you have to sign up for G Suite, go to workspace.google.com and go in here so you can take a look at the plans the most basic plan is this one here and that's what we will start with so go in here and start the registration process important step here uh, when it asks you for this sign in this sign in is the email that you are going to create so make sure your username matches what email you want to create on your domain. Once you have signed up, you will land on a page like this. It's possible that you might have another option here to verify or it will say protect your domain. It just wants to verify that you own that domain. So there will be a uh, another box with that option so there's an option you can use gmail as your tool where you receive and send emails from then you can use this option otherwise if you are checking your email through a different client or some other way then you don't have to do this so for me i'm going to just click activate here and you can see when I click that it brought me to what I was talking about sign into your domain host to activate Gmail so this domain is on GoDaddy so you're seeing this option if you don't have your domain with one of these known uh, registrars you might not see this option so I have GoDaddy and I'm going to sign in to activate so it brings up this pop-up here I am going to connect As you can see here verifying you own tiktok smashes.com and so it's doing the verifying process so the process takes a little while after it has verified all the information you will see gmail is activated for tiktok smashes.com next step is you can create more users if you go in here here you can read through this you can create new users which means new emails uh, I am not going to create any more emails here so I'm just going to close this and that's all I am going to do for now uh, now what you can do is just go to your home and it will show you this dashboard right here now next step is we need to have that email added to our Shopify so go to your Shopify account and then go to settings and then store details in there where you see contact information you edit there's two emails in here first one is the email that Shopify uses to contact you that's like the email you signed up with but the second one is the most important one that your customers see in every communication and so that's where we are going to change the email so right now I have a different email here now if I change this to the new email that we created save and when you do that you are going to see this exclamation mark here now go back click on this edit and down here you see this line that 
it's telling you that you need to do more stuff to fix this issue because your emails are going to still show Shopify.com um, that are going to your customers. So fix this. And down here, authenticate. And it will show you a bunch of information here. These are some records that you need to add to your domain registrar. Now, I have the account with GoDaddy. I will go to GoDaddy. You could have your account somewhere else. So you will have to go there and add all these records. So when you're logged into, say, GoDaddy account, um, I am going to go to the domain that I want the information change for. So I have a bunch of domains here. So once you see your domain, you are going to go to DNS. And in here you will see DNS management and these are all kinds of records here. Now, the records that you have from Shopify, keep them open in a separate tab and you could have them side by side or just different tabs so you can switch between them. And here is where we're going to add those records. So right up here, click add now go back so you will see in each record there's a type a host name and a value so copy this host name back here type remember it's all going to be c name name paste the name you copied back here copy the value paste it in the value and leave this to default add record and go back you are going to do the same thing with all these four records now one more time I'm going to do the second one copy back here you're doing add again, option, C name, paste the name you just copied for the second record, get the value copied back here, paste the value, add record. And then do the rest for the third and fourth record. So once you've added all these four records in your domain registrar's DNS records, what you will do is authenticate domain. And you will see domain authentication in progress. It can take up to 24 hours. I have seen this getting resolved way earlier, but we'll see. I would like to mention a couple of things here. If you are not with GoDaddy, your domain is registered with a different service, you might have a different way of getting to the records. For example, I have a couple of other services. I am in HostGator, go to hosting, and in here you see this cPanel, you click on cPanel. cPanel is a very common setup that you're going to go into to do all this. And right in here you'll see zone editor. And once you are in there, this is the same. Like you will go and it breaks it down by record type, which record type you want to add. So same way you will add records. Also, if you remember when Gmail was taking a while to set up and verify the email uh, with GoDaddy, 
what it was doing was it was creating a bunch of records so you will see there's a bunch of records here we added some but then there's more that were added by Google so in case you are not with GoDaddy or one of the other registrars known registrars you might have to do this manually so you have to add couple of MX type records right here and well there's there is more than two but some registrars have a limit so if you have a limit you only need two of these uh, otherwise you can add all these four right here actually it's five um, and then a couple of other records are this txt record for Google site verification if you are not with GoDaddy you might have to add this manually and then also this record down here so it took uh, about an hour and email has been verified and I already did a test and this is like a test order and you can see that I am not seeing any Shop Shopify or anything here. It came from admin at my domain. And uh, that's it. This is all you need to get your email working with G Suite and GoDaddy. If you like the video, please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.